Who's ready for an adventure? Good morning. It's uh, about 20 after 8 right now, and for the first time in days, I'm getting up after dawn. It's all thanks to this lovely, cool northern wind that rolled in in the wee hours of the morning. Uh, it's brought with it a very nice break from the mosquitoes, much needed. I got probably about six hours of sleep last night, which is great, because normally, it, well recently it's been one, two, probably not even three hours a night. So, a very welcome change from that, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good this morning. The way things played out last night, it was uh, hot, not warm, but hot and humid and absolutely still. And the mosquitoes were quite terrible. I ended up making a an anchor out of a rock, which I'm surprised it took me this long to do. But uh, I made an anchor, put it in the canoe, took my, uh, fishing gear, though I didn't end up fishing, and just paddled out looking for a breeze. Didn't find any. I ended up just anchoring about 300 meters offshore from the island, just out in the middle, 25 to 30 feet of water. And even though there was no breeze to keep the insects off, the fact that I was away from shore helped quite a bit. And I uh, got away from the mosquitoes. Uh, around 1, 2 o'clock, a, uh, a breeze started rolling in from the north, started to cool down, and uh, I and, and the mosquitoes dropped off out there. I came in here; they were still around, but not too too bad. They were, uh, if you were, most places they would have been horrible, but by these standards they were quite reasonable. So, anyways, went to bed around two, getting up around eight, just having myself a little bit of the uh, pike. A little rib steak for breakfast, and um, the pike will be all gone by lunch today. So it's a two day fish. I've been eating pretty well. Um, but that means that now I need to get some more fish secured. So I think I'm gonna walk Roy, definitely bring my rain gear because we may get rain, but. Um, bring some lunch and just spend a good bit of time out on the water if at all possible. And I'll definitely be bringing my anchor because the uh, the wind has the potential to, to push me around a little bit here. This is the rock anchor that I devised last night, and I'm pretty happy with it so far. It has a bit of a ridge, where are we here, a bit of a ridge right here. So I did a clove hitch just underneath the ridge, and then I tied off the tag end there with the extra rope. I did a loop, a twisted loop up around here, this point, so it kind of anchors it there, and then, and then it came down around this end, looped through that same loop again to secure it in place, came back underneath, 
tied on here to secure it all in the middle. So this is just a little 10 foot section of rope or so, nylon rope. And then that attaches to a 50 foot section of rope and that should be more than adequate for this lake. I don't think it gets anything deeper than 50 feet. So that worked quite nicely for me last night. I'm gonna bring it out again. It's a little bit windy, not too bad, but uh, it's always nice to have the option of anchoring and staying in one spot. I'm getting a later start than usual. But uh, that's okay because today is a cooler day than usual, so the heat of the day shouldn't be so much of an issue. I've packed myself a lunch, which is a handful of rhizomes, some shoots, the last two rib steaks from that big pike I caught a couple days ago. Got a couple bottles of water. A dozen freshwater mussels, and then I set my minnow trap in uh, the bay up ahead last night. So I'll check that and see if I have any more bait. Regardless, I'm ready for uh, a decent amount of time out on the water, get some good fishing in, and hopefully I can stock up a little bit for the next couple days. Having my minnow trap. One sunfish and one crayfish. Still no luck finding a good spot for this. Gonna have to keep searching. I've been inspired by my success in the last couple of outings. So I'm going to head back to that same weedy bay where I caught the pike and those perch the day before and uh, give that another try. I'm also bringing the minnow trap and I'm going to leave it there. This time not so far up the creek. Fish the day. One step towards dinner. I spy with my little eye the first cattail flower that I have found on the lake itself. Can't let an opportunity like that go to waste. So I'm going to harvest this bad boy and bring her back to camp because they are delicious. Cattails are so useful. You can eat the roots, you can eat the shoots, you can eat the flowers. Again, I've heard you can do something with the pollen spike, a few things, but I'm not entirely sure what. It makes a flour or a coffee substitute, I believe. So I'll bring that back home with me. I haven't seen any mushrooms in a while. Part of that might be because the foliage has grown up. It's thicker and harder for me to see. But it can't be all of it. Maybe because it's been fairly dry. But we have had some rain. The heat perhaps? Who knows? Not I. Still craving those orange bull beets. What do you 
see Roy. Come on bud, let's go. Come on. I was exploring a potential little duck pond location yesterday and I found this back in the same spot today and now I understand why this is here. Somehow I missed that yesterday. So someone has in the past hunted moose here and they just dropped their empty camp fuel container out the bottom. I'm going to make a use for that though. So I'll hang on to that, bring it back to camp and uh, duly noted for moose and this pond. Just finishing up a lunch break. Uh, had the last of that pike, so now it's back to square one where the fish is concerned. I've got three medium-sized perch, two I caught yesterday, one I've caught today. So uh, I'm going to go set the minnow trap and uh, then put in a real effort to get some fish. I'm back where I was when I caught the pike. I don't expect to catch anything that magnificent, but I have caught a uh, a couple other small, or a few other actually, small pike here and then a good handful of perch. So I'm hopeful that I'll get something. So this is a good area. Uh, it's, it's been productive for me in the past and hopefully it will be this afternoon. That minnow trap is now set. Just realizing this creek is completely dammed upstream so there's no flow in or out. That might be why it's not as uh, as productive as it might be, but anyways, the trap is set, now it's time to fish. Got something slightly meatier, not big, but that'll be, uh, with the perch, that'll make for a good dinner. <laughs> wow, but I didn't have my camera on for that. There's a loon napping right in that little rock area. It came close around the corner and it just took off across the water and then dove. <laughs> Scared the crap out of Roy. I won't say I wasn't startled by it.
big perch. Hey, hey, I have lunch. I'm on the board for tomorrow. The streak continues. I'd like a few more, but that's a good start. So that wasn't the most successful morning on the water. I only caught one small pike and a medium sized perch, but it was still productive. I have the meat now for dinner. Uh, I was able to gather some more cattail flowers as well to roast like corn, or rather to boil like corn. Uh, I gained a bit of information about the moose hunting situation, not that that's going to do me any immediate good, but you never know. Information is never a bad thing. I also picked up that piece of garbage, the uh, the fuel canister, which uh, which will be good for some arts and crafts in the near future. So at this point, the sun has now come out, the breeze has died down a bit, and uh, it's heating up. So I'm going to go down for an afternoon nap, and then I'll get back up, clean those fish, make myself some dinner. Ah, the blueberries are beginning to ripen. Isn't that oh so lovely? They're tiny, but they are delicious. Oh. <clears throat> so in my storage container right now, I have some Cattail flowers, a little collection there. The cattail pollen, not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. A bunch of birch bark and a tinder fungus. Got my rhizomes that I roasted up yesterday. And I have some cattail shoots. So I've got a decent little collection in here, putting it to good use. I just finished my dinner, and now I officially have no fish left for tomorrow. Uh, this is the first time I've been in this situation where I'll be waking up with no guarantees of uh, fish. So, uh, the first time in a few weeks, I mean. So I'm going to get out now and see if I can remedy that. Uh, we may have some rain rolling in, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, if we do, perhaps it'll be a pre-storm bite. So anyways, I'm not going to know until I get out there. So here we go, see if I can get some fish and get myself a little peace of mind for tomorrow morning. find myself out on the lake again at night to escape the mosquitoes. Um, yeah, they followed me from the mainland though, of course. Uh, it might be an idea in future nights to uh, anticipate this, just bring everything out that I need and then stay out after the, the sunset. Oh, there's one in the eye. Um, yeah. Because uh, I have to have to imagine they would not be so many here if um, if I hadn't gone to the mainland, where they are absolutely horrendous, as per usual. I was hoping the north wind would uh, take care of that, but it's uh, 
it's died down now so any effects that it did have this morning those have uh, those have vanished unfortunately so here we are making the best of the situation just doing what we can as per usual <laughs>